is your Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, March the 1st, 2019. Today is the Feast of St. Albinus. He was a French bishop and a miracle worker in the 6th century. We don't know a great deal about him. He entered the monastery at a young age. He was elected abbot at 35 and appointed the Bishop of Angers soon afterwards. Many miracles were attributed to him during his lifetime, and his grave was a very popular pilgrimage site after his death. The most interesting feature of his biography, though, is his particular devotion to ransoming slaves from bondage. He would purchase and free enslaved peoples of all races. In his lifetime, slavery was the typical result of a loss in battle. Those who survived were enslaved, and St. Albinus went out of his way to find those people, to purchase them, and then to set them free. He died in his native France in 550 AD. Today in 1692, in rural Massachusetts, Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tituba are brought before the local magistrates of Salem Village and accused of secretly performing magic, beginning what would become known as the Salem Witch Trials. Over the course of 15 months, 200 people were accused of witchcraft, and 20 were killed in the proceedings. And of course, this is not unique to the colonial United States. When anyone can say that someone else is guilty of something without any proof at all, a witch hunt always follows. We see it in ancient history with the followers of Marius and Sulla, and we see it today with meaningless words like racist and homophobic and sexist. The freedom to accuse another uncritically and without any consequence to oneself is an injustice to real victims of bigotry, and it erodes the value of justice in society at large. Sadly, we can't say the Salem witch trials taught us a lesson, because they clearly haven't. What we can say is that human nature doesn't change, and that 20 people died tragically and needlessly in 1692 and 1693 in rural Massachusetts. Today is a double special day for the Midwest United States. It's the birthday of Yellowstone National Park, established today in 1872, and the birthday of the Hoover Dam, completed today in 1936. Yellowstone was the world's first national park. It straddles Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, and features any number of interesting land formations, mountains, and passes. The subalpine forest is the most important, but the most famous is the natural geyser Old Faithful, which is one of the most consistent geysers in the world. Yellowstone has also served as the home of Yogi Bear in the Hanna-Barbera cartoons of the 1960s and 70s, although he and his little friend Boo Boo called it Jellystone. The Hoover Dam is not a natural wonder, but it's no less astounding. It's a gigantic arch-gravity dam crossing the Colorado River at the border of Nevada and Arizona. It was built during the Great Depression as a way of providing jobs for those who were in need, and also to establish a reservoir in that desert area for the nearby city of Las Vegas, and of course to produce electricity for sale by hydroelectric power generation. It's nearly 730 feet high, and Lake Mead, the reservoir, is the largest reservoir by volume in the United States. And so it's a happy birthday today for clean energy at the Hoover Dam and for fresh air in Yellowstone National Park. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. And until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.